Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a nail vlog. My cousin's girlfriend recently started going to classes to receive her nail certification um, to become a nail tech. So she's just like practicing on different people. She told me she got the Gel X kit. Um, if you guys don't know what the Gel X kit is, it's basically from the brand I believe Ape Press or Ape Press? I forget how to pronounce it. They are like acrylics but they are not acrylics they are made out of gel and they're clear and i love the way that they look um especially for like different nail designs and stuff like that so today she's going to be doing my nails using the gel x i don't like acrylics so i'm always looking for different alternatives to acrylics and like different ways i can do my nails without using acrylics because i feel like acrylics just damage my nails so much i do have another video where i took you guys along to go try out dip powder um i'll link it down below but yeah i still really love dip powder it's like one of my favorite new ways to do nails i feel um and i've done it a few times after and i still very much love it. I'm really excited to try out the Gel X nails. Um, I've heard really good things. I've heard that they last as long as acrylics, but they're not as damaging because it is just like essentially a gel nail, but like longer if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and probably just do a voiceover. All right, let's get started. So here I'm just like picking out which design I want or what I want to use and the color I want to use. Um, she has a lot of great options. So this is her Gel X kit. La. Um, so yeah, it's really cool. It's basically just a set of clear nails. And here she is sizing me up to see which nail fits each finger correctly. Um, she just is taking the cuticle pusher and pushing my cuticles back, cutting my cuticles, um, just a normal kind of thing. She is filing down my nails, um, but the file was so, so soft. I kid you not, it's like almost nothing. And she's also buffing the actual nail that she's about to press on, but that's pretty much all she buffed. Here she is using the, um, it's basically a dehydrator. It's the first step, and she said that it's good to dehydrate so that you can have your nails completely dry or so it could actually stick on. And then after she used that, she went in with the gel and she's just applying some clear gel onto all of my nails and curing it with the um, with this light here. So now she's basically encapsulating these little butterflies that I wanted um, as a design. So she uses some clear gel as well as um, just like whatever you want encapsulated and she just takes it and encapsulates it with the gel and she actually cures the fake nail itself before even applying it onto you um so yeah here she's just laying it out the way she wants um i really really love this technique i think it's really really pretty and makes your nails super cute i feel like the whole translucent clear trend is really big right now and so now she's just pressing on the nail. Um, these are the ones without butterflies. So I'm helping her out and I'm just putting the light over it. And she's holding it in place because you have to make sure there's no like air bubbles or anything like that so that it stays on longer. And here's how they look before being painted. And then now she's just buffing all of them and kind of like almost shaping them. The buffer that, or I don't even know what this is called. I'm just calling it a buffer. Um, this is so, so soft. It's not harmful or like harsh at all. This is the color that I ended up choosing. It's like a light dusty pink. And she just went ahead and painted my nails and then put it into the, the gel machine to cure. And this is what the final results look like. So I'm back and I will show you guys right now, I'll turn the camera around and show you guys how they look. Um, I really, really love how they came out. I love the clear kind of look. Um, we went with like a simple kind of nude because I'm into that. But um, I kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit more info on a the A-Press Gel X nails. I first heard about them when Ariana Grande's article came out and it was like on Allure, I think. And I was like, wow, that's really interesting because they were like, oh, she actually doesn't wear acrylic. She wears these gel extensions and they're actually Gel X nails to be precise. Um, and so her nail tech, I was reading the article and it says, um, it's great for people who have really weak nails or anyone who likes to change them a lot. 
and it's just because it's not as damaging as acrylics and it is an easy soak off i was actually really surprised to see how like easy it is to like just like snap it on and then hover over it um but because of that and because of like the flexibility and like just i feel like it's just so much easier i don't know what like nail techs out there think if it's harder or easier i did ask val what she thinks is easier and she said she thought acrylics well she said they were both equally as difficult but um she said the only difficult thing about the a press gel x nails is that they have to like put the light over it while you're like curing it and so it's a bit hard to like put the light over it while like pushing it down so it secures in place um and so i kind of helped her out with that like by holding the light over it um whereas when she does acrylic she says she doesn't need my help at all or anyone's help so she just does her thing um that's why she likes acrylic or she likes prefers doing acrylics over the gel x but um yeah, it reminded me very similarly of like almost like a press on nail like it's already it already comes the way it is, you know um, They do have different sizes uh, Val did say that they actually tell you not to cut them um, I don't I'm sure a lot of you guys might be upset that we did that, but I don't like long nails so I asked her if she could cut them um, and so We think it's like advertising basically them trying to get you to buy more sets because they do have a shorter set but it's like it was totally fine she cut mine and they did not crack or anything like that so i don't know i think it's up to the nail tech if they would like to do that that i also noticed that it's just a lot less like buffing on your nail or like a lot less like filing and buffing you didn't you don't really need to do it that much um she just like kind of buffs my nails a bit and then um I mean you guys saw how she did it but yeah it's just it's not as damaging and i feel like it's not thinning out my nail as much so this is what my final nails look like um we did have a bit of some trouble with the middle finger because i don't know why my middle finger is like there was not a correct like shape on there that would fit my nail perfectly again these are kind of like almost like press-ons where like if it doesn't fit you right like there is nothing you could do like i was in between sizes almost um I don't know it was just too like big or too small so it just didn't work um but i think she did what she could with with it and i i really appreciate it again val is still learning she is still going to school to get her um nail tech certification i will leave her information down below she has really great prices um if you're like in the la area she's like looking she has like discounted prices because again she still does not have her certification so she's just like looking to practice on as many people as she can right now um she only does manicures i believe though um but yeah she's really really good and you guys should really go and check out the gel x from her um i thought she did a really good job um, and i really really like the whole clear look so yeah guys that concludes this video this nail vlog i had a lot of fun getting them done i will leave val's information down below if you want to hit her up if you are in the area um she does gel acrylic and gel x nails i believe but um yeah her instagram will be down below and you guys can book an appointment with her i believe she usually does monday through thursday um so yeah thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next video bye